Hey y'all, Editing Lady Blacks again jumping on here real quick just to apologize for the poor quality of the screen recordings. I did my best y'all, but the message is still important so try not to get too distracted by that. Anyways, the message is still important so without further ado, let's jump right in. pressure around this. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This is Lady Blacks again coming at you with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications so you're notified anytime I drop a new video. Also, shout out to the new subbies. Welcome to the family, y'all. If anyone has any ideas, feedback, or videos you want me to react to, please email me. My email is always in the about section, also in the description box below. It's ladyblacksican at gmail.com. Finally, as y'all know, the dust is quite fierce. The dust is quite fierce. So in case we need a backup plan, I've created a second channel for us. I'll link that for you below hey y'all welcome back to the channel i hope y'all are doing good today so i wanted to share this video because let's just keep it real divestment channels are about making sure that we are bringing forth awareness to black women why they need to divest put themselves first the rest will follow it's just for your own safety that you selfishly eliminate yourself from blackistan cut off all hyenas and vet out non-black men if you plan on dating out there and I was just minding my own business, trying to decompress. Y'all already know I got the vid of Cove. So I'm over here just trying to recover and decompress from this long road trip that I was on. And I'm over here minding my own business. And on my timeline is this video. It's about a year old. It was this video of a bunch of hyenas swarming this poor woman. I believe she is a black woman. I'm not entirely sure. She looks black to me. But nonetheless, just swarming this woman and reiterating the fact that hyenas are degenerate, that you need to stay away from them. And they're just simply dangerous. They can't control themselves, y'all. They just can't control themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this clip of this woman being harassed and, you know, hyenas being hyenas and just reiterating why you need to stay away from them. Check out these videos and then we'll chat. Oh, no, no, pressure around this mouth. This definitely going to get sweated around this mouth. Yeah, you came to a circle full of pimps. You finna get it too, ho. Oh, the bitch made it through. She made it through. She broke through the barrier. Hold on, ho. It's some pr it's a pr pressure being applied around here. It's a real pimping, though. Oh, don't no, act like she ain't never been caught a bitch before, huh? First of all, notice how nobody is jumping in to help her, the way that he's regarding her as a bitch. Notice that stuff, right? I'm not trying to say that there's not dangers in other places particularly non-black communities. I'm not saying that dangers don't exist in those areas, but the probability of that being the case is very low. And if you're a black woman, you've seen this, you've experienced this. You know, the parking lot pimping after the club, 
people go into the gas station and then hyenas just being intoxicated and just making the degeneracy within them more extreme. It's accentuated by intoxication. And one of the things that was reiterated to me, because y'all know I went on this road trip with my child. We traveled throughout the Midwest and to the West Coast. Y'all already know how it goes down in this corner. We don't go to Blackistan, right? We don't go to Blackistan where it is infested with hyenas, right? Not one time did I feel unsafe in these primary white areas. And I'm talking Midwest. I'm talking cows on the highways <laughs> for miles, okay? I'm talking farmers, nicest people because you have to pull over to get gas you have to relieve yourself in the bathroom maybe go get some food i always felt welcomed in this road trip wherever i went you as a black woman don't have to experience this kind of thing that you saw in these clips when you avoid these types of areas. It's just period, y'all. And I know some may think that I'm speaking on privilege because I'm not all the way black, but that's BS because I've seen black women with their white men who are deep skin, full on, straight from the motherland, melanated, beautiful black skin women with their white men, chilling, chilling, traveling, having a good time, with their significant others. So, you know, I've seen this shit for myself recently. I know it's not bullshit because I've seen other black women enjoying themselves with their white or non-black partners. This is stuff that myself, my sister, and her husband were talking about in our round table. Black women need not be afraid to go experience life outside of Blackistan. Because when you do experience life out of Blackistan, you find out that there is a whole other beautiful world out there. Y'all want to know what two states I want to experience? Just navigate through and explore on a deeper level because I drove through them and the people there were just so polite and so kind. It just kind of made me want to mess around with their state. Iowa and Nebraska. You would never think that those would be two states one would put on the map to want to navigate and explore and experience on a deeper level. I totally do. And there's nothing in Iowa and Nebraska. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I felt the vibe of the people so polite and so kind. Wherever I went, it made me want to be like, dang, what is there to do in Nebraska? What is there to do in, in Iowa? I low-key want to experience these states on a deeper level because the people were just so mad cool. So the bottom line is this, ladies. Divest wholeheartedly because when you don't, you put yourselves in these positions. I don't understand why this woman didn't just see that hyenas were parking lot pimping and just decided, you know what? Because on E, you can drive another 25 miles. Let's keep that 100. You can drive a, another 25 miles to get gas. I would have risked it once I saw all these hyenas. It sucks. It's not me victim blaming because as I was driving across the country, there were times where I did have to pull over. I mean, I tried to my best to avoid having to go get gas at night. So sometimes you can't avoid it. You should definitely avoid it as much as you possibly can. But like in my position, there were like one or two times where I could not avoid going and getting gas late at night while I was on the road road tripping with my kid. But in like places like Nebraska or Iowa, right, where I had to do that, I did not feel unsafe like I'm sure this woman felt around all these hyenas. So I don't know how old this video is, but I think that this is a good reminder of why black women need to divest because literally it is dangerous as hell for you not to divest, put yourself first and just alleviate black as out of your life. And if you happen to be stuck there right now, just because of circumstance, it should be your number one goal 
to find a way to get out of there. And there's just way too much content on this platform in the divested community for you not to be able to have some sort of tool on how to get out of there. It should be your number one goal to get out of areas like this. Because there's ways. There's van life. There's college. There's the military. There are ways for you to get out of these communities. So it should be your number one goal to try to get out. Lest you be a victim like this woman was. Anyways, I'm back. (laughs) I'm back and this is the thing that I wanted to talk about. Because I told y'all that I wanted to speak on some of the lessons that I learned. Not only are black women swirling and keeping their options open and doing it beautifully. This is another thing that I learned. I just did not feel unsafe in primarily white areas. I just didn't. That's all I got for y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about this sick, twisted video that I had to watch. All right. Love y'all. See you in the next one.